What's up everyone? With over 20 years of lying, manipulation, strategy and competition, it's safe to say we've had a fair share of legendary house guests that have graced us with their presence in the infamous California compound that is the Big Brother house. Some of them are so legendary that we believe they should have received the title of All-Star, potentially for even the second time around. So today we're going to be doing exactly that. It's time for us to discuss the 10 players who should have been cast as All-Stars in the 22nd season of Big Brother. Damn it, I can't do the voice as well as that guy. Take two. It's time for us to discuss the 10 players who should have been cast as All-Stars in the 22nd season of Big Brother. That is what we were looking for. Teamwork makes the dream work, Big Brother. Although that's not exactly the style of strategy some of these cutthroat house guests bring into the game. Right before we get started folks, I will say if you are new around here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the like button and the bell icon to get notified every single time a brand new upload goes live on the channel. I would appreciate it more than Jackson Mickey appreciates watermelons. Oh, and of course guys, you can fully expect spoilers from the past 22 seasons of Big Brother. Alright folks, now that the boring disclaimer stuff is out of the way, let's start the countdown and see who is at number 10. Cup, cup, ba da 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 da, cup, cup, cup. Now that was a Grammy award winning jingle there, thank you very much Kev, but that's right folks, placing at number 10 on House Guests Who Should Have Been on Big Brother 22 All Stars, it's Big Brother 19's very own Kevin Slehuber, who gave us arguably the best goodbye message of all time. Matt, take care. Goodbye. <laughs> Remember for being the father figure of the Big Brother 19 house, Kevin brought us funny stories, life lessons, lots and lots of smiles, and how can we ever forget his incredibly dapper fashion sense. When he wasn't voting to evict someone in a waistcoat and tie, Kevin was teaching the rest of his fellow house guests to care for one another and show kindness in a world where there isn't necessarily a lot of it these days. It's safe to say that in the summer of 2017, emojis became mojos, selfies became onesies, and Kevin became a Big Brother favourite. Furthermore, from that positivity point, during the COVID-19 pandemic, having Kevin back in that house would have been a beacon of light, to say the least. It should come as absolutely no surprise to anyone that Kev undoubtedly deserves a spot on this list. Whether he was an all-star house guest on Big Brother 22 or not, one thing is for sure, guys. Kev's kindness and his positivity makes him an all-star human and an all-star at life. Okay, folks, so moving on, house guest at number nine, tell us your occupation. I am a groundskeeper for a school system. Of course, it only seems right that everyone's favourite groundskeeper gains a spot on this list, so in at number nine is Big Brother 16's Donnie Thompson. In total honesty, it did come as a shock to me to not see Donny on the cast of Big Brother 22. For years I had thought to myself if CBS ever decided to do an All-Star season, Donny Thompson would have been a lock for sure. So let's just say this, All-Stars 3 someday, Donny better be there or we're all rioting guys, we're joining together and getting Donny on that show. In the early days of the season, Donny's allies were evicted one by one, quickly making him the underdog of the season. Anyone who was an underdog on BB22 soon kicked the Big Brother bucket, but I have a feeling that this legendary groundskeeper may have been able to pull a win out when he needed it, should he have been on the cast. He really was the ultimate underdog. Who knows, maybe a big hitter such as Memphis, Tyler or even Cody might have been evicted much earlier with the Donny HOA train totally changing the outcome of the season. One thing that we know is that the beard earned 5.2 million of the 10 million votes cast for America's favourite house guest. That is impressive and it's almost certain viewers would have loved to see him have one more shot at the half million dollars. Having played with Cody and Nicole Franzel before, this may have helped Donny make it further down the line as they'd know what to expect with him. Nevertheless, this is Big Brother and we have to expect the unexpected. And should have Donny made it deep into the game with those guys, I have no doubt in my mind that he would have taken a shot at them when he had the chance. This groundskeeper never plays for the house. He does what's best for his game and that is the sort of Big Brother player that was viewed as treasure in the modern day. For our next house guest, it only seems right that we introduce them with one of the most well-remembered lines in Big Brother history that they themselves produced. Flurries, you better grab a life vest. At number 8, it is indeed the controversial yet very entertaining Rachel Riley of Big Brother 12 and Big Brother 13. Now full disclosure, Rachel was indeed invited to compete as an all-star on BB22, but due to her second pregnancy she had to turn down the offer. Nevertheless, Rachel did still request to compete while pregnant, now that is someone who would have been there to play. With a total of 6 HOA trains in her two seasons, we have no doubt in our minds that Rachel would have added to that total should she have been in Big Brother 22. Janelle even discussed the fact that had she had the likes of Vanessa and Rachel in the house alongside her, she would have broke up the majority alliance with them. All it takes sometimes is one house guest to mix up the game entirely and I'd be confident enough to say that even half a house guest in the form of Rachel Riley would have done that job. 
I would almost guarantee that had she competed in season 22, it would have extended the stay of Janelle and Kesa and most likely cut the journey short for many of the house guests who ended up making it to the jury stage. Trust me when I say that if she said floaters grab a life vest in season 22, I'd say nearly the entire house would have had to watch out and that is why the legendary Rachel Riley deserves a spot on BB22 All Stars. Moving on to number 7, this house guest is very modest but I think I'll let her prove it herself. I'm June and you're gonna love me as much as I do. As Big Brother fans guys, I genuinely do hope you know who this is. If you don't, I bet you've heard someone being called a floater before and this is the lady who created the floater strategy and indeed perfected it. This ladies and gentlemen is the legendary winner of Big Brother 4, June Song. Very much like Rachel, June was also contacted to compete on Big Brother 22. As the person who created the floater strategy, it makes an incredible amount of sense that June deserved a spot as an all-star for sure. People talk about being able to float in modern day Big Brother, but nobody has seen anything until they've seen June's song. Almost the entire season, June cooked up a storm in the kitchen, all while cooking up some epic gameplay. It's almost certain her strategy would have fit in very well with the BB22 house guest, apart from the fact that she'd be floating better than the majority of them. She won the game once, could she have done it again? You are the winner of Big Brother 4. Congratulations to you both. Speaking of trying to win again, our next house guest knows second place all too well. Once you're infected, with the Paul lingo, it's hard to f***ing let go. Runner-up of season 18, and you guessed it, runner-up of season 19, Paul Abrahamian is in at sixth, which certainly makes a change for second. Known for their friendship, inflatable pool rings and turning the house against each other, you can't deny that Paul is a player who can be admired amongst many new schoolers who didn't bring much to the game. With Paul having made the final two twice and losing both times by only one vote, it makes full sense to have them as an all-star. I really genuinely believe we would see Paul on an all-star season one day, but it seems placing second two years in a row was enough to put Paul off. A lot of Big Brother 22 was a pack mentality kind of game in which people were expected to vote with the house. What an awful phrase, guys. If Paul was thrown into the game, we know that they are good at pitting people against each other, so it would have very likely broken up any large group that was to be formed, thus creating an entirely different outcome of the All-Star season. And hey, who knows, maybe after all of that, Paul would have gone and added another second place to their Big Brother resume. Jokes aside, I really do believe All-Stars could have been the season where Paul took home the victory they've aimed for for so long. Now personally, I don't even think our next player was a good player at all. What? I'm joking Vanessa, I am joking, don't worry. Of course taking an undisputed spot on this list at a very respectable number 5, it's the incredible Vanessa Russo of Big Brother 17. Now some may argue Vanessa should have won Big Brother 17, and those people would be right. I'm only kidding in my books if you win, you win, so big respect to Steve, but right now we're talking about Vanessa. The professional poker player played the game like brother nature intended it to be played. See what I did? Because it's Big Brother, get it? Brother? Big Brother? Okay, never mind, enough of my bad jokes and more of Vanessa's good gameplay. It's hard to get your name up there in modern day Big Brother with some of the greats, but Vanessa somehow did the impossible and put herself amongst legendary names when it came to strategy. Not only did her strategy shine, she had a remarkable 7 competition wins with 4 head of household reigns and 3 power of veto wins. It's safe to say Vanessa is a beast when it comes to Big Brother. She arguably controlled 11 or more of the 15 evictions in that season and unfortunately fell short of the half a million dollars in 3rd place after the eventual winner Steve voted her out. I'm so sorry, Vanessa. Austin, but I have, I have to vote to evict you. I'm so sorry, Vanessa. It's official, Vanessa. Ever since that moment, fans have waited and waited to see Vanessa return for an all-star season, but due to the recent birth of her twins before the premiere of BB22, it's likely she had to turn it down. I think I speak for us all when we say it would have been great to have her back in there, and we'll all wait patiently for her return to the game one day. Okay folks, in at number 4, just missing out on the hypothetical finale night, house guest reveal yourself. Big Brother, here I come! Woo! Now, if there was ever a modern day winner that appeals to the masses, it's the winner of Big Brother 16, Mr. Derek Lavasser. The undercover cop of BB16 would no longer be working covertly had he been on BB22. With his secret out in the open and his status as a winner, it begs the question, could he have performed as well as Dr. Will did as a winner on All Stars 1? Having Derek in there could have totally changed the course of the game with him being so renowned for his duo with Cody, who would go on to win All Stars. Would it solidify their position more or send Cody out a lot earlier? 
The what ifs are endless here, but one thing is for sure, Derek would have been someone who people would have been hyped to see back. Now while I'm not personally a fan of Derek's pack mentality style gameplay, I can appreciate him more as a leader than I can a follower, so at the end of the day, he did win the game in a very dominant style, so it goes without saying he should have been an all-star who would have actually played the game. It's likely we would have seen Nicole Franzel panicking a lot more since Cody would have prioritised his loyalty to Derek rather than her, potentially sending her out the house much earlier than she actually did go out. It's crazy to theorise how much one different player can change the outcome of a game, and a player in the form of Derek would definitely do that. Moving on to our top three house guests, it's time for number three to tell us their name and what's going to happen to the other house guests. I'm Dan, and the other house guests are going to get schooled. Winner of Big Brother 10 and runner up of Big Brother 14, it's the fantastic Dan Giesling. Very similar to Derek having Cody in this hypothetical house, sending Dan in would have been support for Memphis, or would it have been damage? I truly believe we would have seen an incredible dominant power alliance of Derek, Dan, Cody and Memphis should those two winners have been in the game. Who knows, maybe even Keisha's fate would have been different than the first evictee if there had been three people from her season there which in my opinion would have been brilliant to see her stick around longer. The man who delivered his own big brother funeral is tied for best placement of a two time player alongside Cody with both a second and a first placement. And hey, with Dan in that season Cody may not have even got his first placement leaving Dan as the best two time player of all time. I mean, even on the other hand of things, had Dan been in the season, he may have done the unthinkable and made history with two wins, becoming the first ever two-time winner of Big Brother USA. Although Dan, Derek and Dr. Will's names are often thrown around as the best players of all time, as a diehard Will Kirby fan, I have to side with the evil Doctor, but I make no disputes at the fact Dan 100% deserved a spot on this All-Star season as one of the best to ever play the game. The winner of Big Brother 10... It's the final two now and this house guest has indeed made the final two once before. House guest number two, why do you want to go back in the house? Why do I want to go back in that house? One word. Redemption. Oh man, I get chills whenever I hear that line. Ladies and gentlemen, at number two, it's the incredible, remarkable and legendary Danielle Reyes. As the runner-up of Big Brother 3 and the 6th place All-Star in Big Brother 7, Danielle Reyes knows how to play this game like the back of her hand and she always comes equipped with an epic countdown. 9 down and 1 more to go. She was so legendary that she made it onto the kitchen wall as a Big Brother icon in the decor of the BB22 house, so I guess we could say she was sort of there. Well, the spirit of Danielle Reyes was there. So the rumours are that Danielle was indeed asked to return for BB22, but turned down the offer due to the fact that she didn't want to leave her job in the middle of the pandemic due to the unstable economy. It's still an amazing feeling to know that this legend was indeed contacted to be an all-star once again. Now whilst we wouldn't necessarily expect many competition wins from Danielle in BB22, side note, I am not ruling it out, the woman is a beast at the game, it's almost certain she would have been the best strategist by a million miles. She unfortunately did not take home the win in Big Brother 3 and after returning to All Stars 1, she went down admirably at the hands of Dr. Will. Danielle, you have been evicted from the Big Brother All Star house. Dr. Will even once said in an interview, if anyone should return to compete again, it should be Danielle Reyes and I couldn't agree more. Alright folks, it's the moment you've all been waiting for, the house guest at number one on the list. I think I'll let their humble self reveal who they are. Do you think it's easy being this good looking? It is easy. There you have it people, in at number one it's the evil doctor who manipulated his way to victory in Big Brother 2, Dr. Will Kirby. Will was the first person to ever bring strategy into the game, paving the way for what the game is today. Without him lying, making deals and charming the other house guests, the course of Big Brother history would be incredibly different. Dr. Will is quite literally the founding father of the United States of Big Brother and fully deserves a Mount Rushmore built of himself. Okay, maybe that's a bit far, but I'm sure most of you guys can agree with me that this guy is a legend. Let's put it this way, there's only one person who could tell the whole house that he hates them while sat on the block and still get saved by a unanimous vote. I can't find an individual to hate, because I hate you all. Now, if you refuse to kick me out, I will be throwing every competition, I will throw every HOH, George is on slop, and I will do the best I can to ensure that we all are on slop. I have no doubt in my mind that Dr. Will was asked to return for the game for Big Brother 22, but it was actually BB22's Janelle that has been the only person to ever stop Will from winning the game. I vote to evict you, Will. Sorry. 
It's official, Will. You have been evicted from the Big Brother All-Star house. In this hypothetical season, Janelle and Will would have likely teamed up had they been on BB22 together, despite Janelle evicting him in a prior season. But make no mistake, people, make no mistake at all that Will would always look out for himself first and would always ensure that his ego would never take a hit. Who's the best Big Brother player in history? I don't see Michael Jordan walking around telling people what a great basketball player he is. I think we all know the answer to that question. And that, people of YouTube, is exactly why Dr. Will Kirby should have been on Big Brother 22. Okay folks, that brings our top 10 to a close. I'd love to hear if you guys agree with this list and I'm not just saying that like a lot of people would. I genuinely love to hear everyone's different opinions because it's all a matter of perspective. Apart from the fact that Dr. Will should always most certainly and definitely be on your list. Jokes aside guys, let me know your top 10 in the comment section below. I really do hope you all enjoyed watching this today. If you did, please hit the subscribe and like button. And if you didn't, well, I guess still do those things because it's better for me to say that than trying to win HOH and putting you up on the block. I hope you're all staying safe, healthy and happy out there, people. And remember to be kind to one another. In the meantime, though, guys, please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Do all of that stuff. But until your next Big Brother video, I've been your host, Tom Vasey. Good night.